Angela with Infectious Magazine here at the Ramsey. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. How is the tour going? It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, we played uh, about 12.30 today. It was raining. I was going to say it was still raining, it was though, raining. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But it was cool. It was a good time. At least not as bad as earlier because it was pouring. It was yeah. lightning. It was getting a little scary. Yeah. We had to go hide in a trailer, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, we did that. We had ponchos. Ponchos on our I know. <laughs> Uh, judgment is a huge part of the industry, whether it's judging music or looks or vice versa. What's your take on that and do you think it will ever change or is it just here to stay? Um, I think it's here to stay, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's, you know, everyone wants everyone to get along and unfortunately we, we just won't. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I get along with everyone, but not everyone does. You know? They seem very laid back. Yeah, pretty. Very calming. Pretty relaxed. Pretty, pretty calm guy. How are you so calm on such a crazy tour? Um, Practice. You just don't. You just don't get overwhelmed. You know, just keep keep your head straight. And uh, I mean, this band is fairly new, um, but I've been in bands since I was like 13. So you know, it's like 12 Had years. Practice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, if your time wasn't so consumed by music as the main passion in your life, what other venture would you like to one day explore? Um, I don't know. Um, I used to play football. So football then? Football's cool. Um, <laughs> sports, like a like a sports analyst, maybe. Oh wow! Yeah, an announcer. That's That'd be cool. Well, with Warped Tour offering their compilation every year, it's a good way for fans to reflect and get nostalgic about the tour. What would be on your ideal comp for the last one to three years? Um, Bayside, Census Fail, Polar Bear Club, Hawthorne Heights, Transit, Vanna, um, Story of the Year, The Used, Four Year Strong, Newfound Glory, and Katy Perry. And Katy Perry. Yeah. Just throw one in there to yeah. throw everybody yeah. off. Yeah, Katy Perry. Yeah, Might as well. Now, what is your first musical memory growing up? Um, okay. I uh, was in seventh grade, and it was a school Christmas program. Midday, so the whole school was there. We played all the small things, and... I just sang and fake played guitar. <laughs> My amp wasn't actually turned on, the other guys was. So you're like the Sex Pistols. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I just wanted to focus on, yeah. you know, singing badly, I guess. <laughs> Got to throw something there. Yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> now, you, um, what's your favorite, or I guess not favorite, the childhood memory that you reflect on the most or think of? Um, as far as band related? No, just childhood. Oh, um. Just getting to know you as a person now. Man. This one's gonna, let me think about this. Alright. Um, my favorite childhood memory. I used to like going to the zoo. Does that Who count? doesn't? I mean, everybody likes the zoo. I used to go to the zoo every Tuesday with my grandma, and she would take me to Toys R Us, and I would get Ninja Turtle action figures. That's a good one. Those were the days. Yeah. That was, that was a good time. Good time of my life. I like. I. That's how I always feel about fast food. Like I don't. I hate fast food now, but if whenever I see McDonald's, it makes me think of my childhood. Did you know that Burger King has mozzarella sticks? I did. They're very good. They've had. They've been on the menu for like. You didn't know. Ten years. It's for, been but, a long but they're time. not on the menu. They. They just have. They them. were on the menu. They just have them. They took them off the menu. They, they've been off the menu since 2003. Oh wow. Why? Like it's, it's like a, a secret. It's a club. You just have to know. And someone told me like two weeks ago. Now you're in the know. And I was like, you're lying. And I went there and I go, do you guys have cheese sticks? They were like, we do. And I was like, how much are they? A dollar thirty nine. And I was like, I'm sold. I'll take, yeah. I'll take three orders. Yeah. They're good, right? Yeah. yeah Surprisingly they good. They are. They are. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> incredible. incredible. You're gonna have to keep me informed of your your fast food ins now. Yeah. Yeah. To in the cook club. Out. Have you been to a cookout? Like a. It's a restaurant. A cookout. Oh, I've never heard of that. Oh god. Where is that? Mo mostly in the southeast. Oh. 
You go to Tennessee, you go to Knoxville. Yeah. You get a pizza, a quesadilla, a double cheeseburger, chicken fingers, cheese fries, and hush puppies, and a drink for four thirty nine. All of it. They just give it all. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'm, a, I'm like a food. That's like really. That's a little scary. I'm a so. food guy. I like it. I like food a lot. So then, what are some of your other favorites? Hobbies? No. Or restaurants? Yeah. Um, I like Japanese hibachi. They don't really do it well in the north. Um, I like any kind of pizza. You can't go wrong. Any kind of pizza at all is fine with me. Have you had the dessert pizzas? That pizza's not really okay with me. I don't really. I don't, I've never had it, but I've always wanted to try it. Yeah, I don't really like it. I don't know. Um, uh, steak and shake. So all places that aren't around here. Yeah, I know. Um, all the good places are not here. I know, I know. Uh, Firehouse Subs. There's like one of those in 200 mile radius. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna have this list now if I ever travel. Oh gosh, yes. Go down south and just hit, hit everything on the rest stop sign. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Did you have a senior prank in high school and if so, what was it? Um, we painted our football field black. Why? I don't know. I still don't know why we did that, but it seemed like a cool idea. <laughs> when you're in high school, right? Yeah, yeah. The the year before me, they did something way better. They uh, had three pigs and numbered them one, three, and four, and let them go. And everyone was looking for number two, but it didn't actually exist. That's a good idea. I like that one. That was neat. Uh, what is one question you'd like to be asked but never have been, and what is the answer? Ooh. Question I've never been asked that I want to be asked. Yeah. Um, I've stumped you twice now. God, this is tough, man. You are good. Um, what are you going to do with your life? <laughs> With all those tattoos. Don't your parents already ask that? No, no, my parents are like way cool. They got tattoos and everything. I've never been asked that. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Wow. What are you gonna do with your life with all those tattoos? What? And, uh, it's crazy. I don't really have an answer. This? I'm, yeah, I'm here. I'm right now. I'm doing yeah. it. I don't know. You know? Is there anything else you'd like to add in general? Not about the tattoos? Um, I've had fun today. I've had fun doing this interview. And check out Ramsey. <laughs> Thank you very much.